I'm Dr Zoe Jacobs and I'm a biogeochemical ocean modeler. Biogeochemical ocean modelling is basically just using a mathematical simulation of the global ocean. And we can use that to track things like ocean currents, so the big fast currents like the Gulf Stream and the Atlantic, or the smaller currents um, like we see in the English Channel, for example. We can also look at temperature, salinity, Arctic sea ice, um, uh, chlorophyll, which is a proxy for phytoplankton, which basically measures the productivity of the ocean. When I was at school, I was really interested in science and geography, and I actually used to want to be a vet, so science has always been a huge part of my education. Um, and then when I went to college, I did the three sciences and geography at A-level, and I'm actually glad I did geography because it's probably got me to where I am today. Um, I then decided, actually, geography is really what I wanted to do. Um, so I went to uh, King's College London and did a geography degree. Um, and there I really found a passion for climate science and um, actually the weather. So then I went and did a master's at Reading University in meteorology. Uh, and there I found a real passion for uh, the ocean. And I really love doing research. So I decided to do a PhD. And that's where I ended up at the Nation National Oceanography Centre um, doing my PhD on the Gulf Stream. I have never actually been on a research cruise. Um, so primary kind of research has not been um, a huge part of my career. As an ocean modeler, um, I'm more interested in using the marine technologies. So when I say technologies, I mean the ocean modeling, satellite remote sensing, room robotics, things like that, to gather the information, which enables me to look at things in a more long-term uh, framework and over much larger scales, like globally, for example. I absolutely love that the research I do can make a real difference. I'm currently working on a project based in the Western Indian Ocean and we're looking at how the fisheries are so important for food security. Um, and it's really been great to study with so many other scientists from different fields. So we're getting a really interdisciplinary approach and to work with local people in East Africa who understand that region so well. So combined with our expertise in the marine technologies and their local cultural knowledge, it really merges together and we feel like we're making a difference in those regions. I absolutely love the ocean. I always have done since I was a little girl. Um, I had the opportunity when I was younger to go on holidays with my parents, um, got to go snorkelling, uh, got to swim with wild dolphins, and there's nothing quite like um, getting into the water. You're completely removed from everything around you, and I really hope everyone gets to experience something like that one day. The biggest benefit of working at NOC is the huge amount of mines that are focused in this building. It is so interdisciplinary. We have people studying marine biology, modelers like myself, people looking at remote sensing, the engineers that work so hard on the, on the robotics and the sensors. We also now have social economists working here. And it's so great getting to hear from all these different people and work together, which I think is the best way to study the ocean. I'm absolutely an advocate for equality, diversity and inclusion. I'm actually an ambassador for women in STEM. So on behalf of NARC, I've gone into quite a few schools to give, just to give talks and tell them a bit about what I do as an ocean scientist, how I got to where I am today, just to really try and encourage um, young girls, especially to try and get um, move into that kind of career path. Um, I'm also extremely lucky to have had the opportunity to work with um, lots of young early career researchers uh, from the Western Indian Ocean countries, so places like Kenya, Tanzania and South Africa. Um, and I really believe the future is bright for these young Earth scientists. We're definitely seeing more representation in STEM.